What's happening bunnies and today we have a great gameplay for you where we put up our feather hunters against a three star dragonite so it's a lot of excitement great gameplay at the end of the match so I hope you guys stick around and if you do enjoy it please drop a like drop a subscribe and thank you guys for all the support so far we will check you in the gameplay enjoy right what's happening bunnies um sure today's a really cool gameplay it was an epically close match um you'll see towards the end it's it's I quite a rough one war, but boy. super exciting and i hope you guys enjoy it it's a um this gameplay has basically got one of the current meta comps uh, built in um, and we went for a feathered hunter composition which is really strong at the moment i think Enemy. most of the feather builds are strong at the moment and it seems to be countering everything else out there so um whether you're going um six feathered with hunter or feather and um, assassin um, i've even seen some <clears throat> feather knight and feather mage type builds as well that are that are really working nicely um and this one was a feather a feather hunter build so um it was one of my first times doing it. Um, I've been fiddling a lot with the feather compositions. I always struggle because you're so reliant on three-star druids. And if you don't push the three-star uh, druids out quite early, you can actually start losing games quite quickly. So there's a bit of a balance um, in ensuring that you get your pieces. And I think in this one, we, we did pretty well. So I hope you guys enjoy this. And uh, don't forget, if, you, if you're if enjoying this sort of content, please let me know in the comments. And uh, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe buttons. All right, let's jump back into it and see what we've got. Started off with a God of War and it looks like my thought process here was potentially to look at a knight composition. Um, <clears throat> this can happen, I think quite quite a lot what I've been hearing um, is, you know, the word on the, on, on, amongst the other content guys that, that I watch. Um, knight is big, uh, knight is really uh, progressing quite well at the moment, especially with uh, the dragon builds. So um, I've been trying that out and I'm sure I'll have a video out soon on that one with a um, dragon um, a dragon knight build. But um, <clears throat> I think that's maybe what I was thinking of branching into. But as you guys know, uh, early game it's, it's very unlikely that you're really going to know what you're branching into for the late game so you kind of don't want to set yourself in one direction and be set on a very specific strat too early on in the game i think that's why i'm looking at the shop i need to make decisions so i pick up a unicorn and unicorn is great either way even if you're just using it for the unicorn trick um, to get your economy up um, but you can see i start bringing up a range of other items on there i don't immediately get any other knights so I already start thinking, well, as you can see, we've just fought Ananim, and Ananim's already got a level 2 um, Hell Knight, and he's got a, um, a Frost Knight in there already, so we're going to be contested for those pieces. It makes more sense maybe to look at something different, and the minute I pick up the Taboo Witcher, I know I'm thinking about some sort of a um, Feathered Comp, because that's one of the key pieces that you're going to use in any Feathered Comp. So, the Lightning Blade's there to start off the feathered uh, composition with the taboo but he's not or she's not um, imperative for the later game so i'll probably get rid of the lightning blade at some stage but at the moment it's more just around trying to build a comp that's going to win you some early game rounds or that you'll you'll reach a decision where you're going to move into a lose streak and then play on that and as you can see the comps are not that strong the one that i've managed to put together um the i think by picking up the water spirit the um what that's what's uh, what that's done is i think early game what you want to do is try and pick up as many of the one piece or the one cost units as you can and the general strat is pick up the one cost units and start picking up level uh, or two cost units uh, slightly later um, and to pick up your order spirit Luck. as your second piece Draw. and it's uh, and it's already and it's already two cost might not have been the play especially because i didn't pick up a stone spirit so i wasn't immediately thinking of going into a spirit synergy um, the fact that I picked up the God of War with the stones with the water spirit probably not the play to make and as you can see at this point in time we don't have anything sitting at a level two um, and our team's really not that strong against some of the other teams that we're playing against um, 
they're already starting to look at different strats and they've already got some higher quality pieces than we do so this isn't isn't great but it's okay because Sounds like you already start me. thinking well now we've hit a losing streak and we just need to run onto that losing streak build up econ and get the 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 pieces that we actually want if you look at our bench <clears throat> we do have two hunters and we've got a shining archer as well as a taboo witcher which is our two feathered units we've got the unicorns for druid so immediately there's a comp coming into in, into mind um, the immediate issue we have is is not losing too badly obviously when you go on a losing streak you need to lose but you want to reduce the amount of hp that you're losing um, during that streak so i take the god of war off i probably could sell him um, because the mech comp is strong early game and hopefully that'll just give us a little bit less of a um, a beating in, in terms of our hp we are up against another team who's running assassins now um, and this is one of our russian friends and he's running a team that will definitely beat us he's got level two skybreaker plus he's got the phantom Queen, which is uh, a tough comp to beat at this stage of the game especially with the, the setup that i've got you guys must know it's okay to lose um to lose the early rounds i know a lot of guys when i watch them play and they get so disheartened by losing the first few rounds you need to understand that that's I'll not the case you under my um, way. <clears throat> Sometimes if you're coming with the mindset of I'm going a certain direction in terms of my strategy You've already failed at that point. Um, it's difficult to force a strategy and you probably shouldn't do it So be patient if if the pieces that you're looking for aren't coming up Think about what you are being given and how you can move and branch into different directions um, using what the store is giving you um, as you can see the pieces that I've got with the Wind Ranger and the other two hunters there there's definitely potential for a hunter comp and hopefully if we start picking up some of the other druids we immediately know there's a feather hunter comp coming and um, <clears throat> i think that's the direction we go here so we're still losing quite heavily um i mean it's not that bad five 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 um hp points is not so bad if we can sort of keep it under 10 points per round that we're losing that would be ideal um there is a dwarf there as well i'm not sure if we're going to pick that up but i i, I was hoping we do um, the other thing we need to be concerned with is if we're running a losing streak, it's important that we build our economy as quickly as possible. We don't want to be spending a lot of time of war, boy. Um, <coughs> getting to 50 and, and to then we, we lose all of our HP along, along the road. So I think we should have maybe just pushed it over to about 30. You saw we were on 20, 28 or 29 there. Pushed it above 30. Um, these gods of war we could definitely have gotten rid of. Um, I think they're completely unnecessary and we don't need them at this stage of the game. We're not using them for any of the comps that we're running. So, probably would have left it there, pushed it up to 30, um, and then we could already have been like 40 to 45 somewhere um, in terms of our econ next round. Not a great play there. <clears throat> Yeah, so you can see we're already on 66 HP, which is all right. I don't want to push it, I think, further than maybe uh, 40 is pushing it for me. I think if, you, if you're anywhere near the 40 mark, all that's sort of where you want to stop. I've seen some of the, the pro guys Everything. push it down to 30. Uh, something, um, something. And if you ever watched the first Divinity Mage uh, build that I did, um, I was very fortunate where I managed to push it down to the teens and still pull through with a with a victory, I think. So um, it is doable, but it's it's not a position that you want to place yourself in on a consistent or regular basis. So our team is very weak. You can see. In terms of quality, we're running one cost units. Um, sorry, one star units at this point in time. So, irrespective of what I put on the board, I think we, we would have lost against rock columns. And that's something you definitely don't want. When it comes to any of the creep rounds, you want to try and be winning those. And I think you'll notice this late in the game, how relevant that uh, that comment Knock. is. You need, to be, you need to be winning oh. those. You need to be winning those, those rounds. The items that you get from them are also imperative. Um, <clears throat> and you can see I take a step back now to rethink what, what, what exactly I'm going to be doing. And although I don't need the, the Gods of War, I think I'm using it now just for the sake of continuing the lose streak. Um, 
to block the hunters. So we've got three feather uh, synergy now and we've got three hunter synergy. So you see I mix it up a little bit just to get my synergies uh, more focused and I'm using the God of War um, as a frontline unit just to protect the, the hunters while they, they're dealing with DPS. I think we should still lose it though. Yeah, we'll definitely still lose, lose it here, which is okay because again, the idea is not that we, we suddenly start winning. We still don't have uh, 50 econ and we want to be at least 50 before we stop the losing streak. Um, but we're only losing by a small small amount in terms of HP now. So that's exactly the position that we want to be in. Um, and I'm happy with that. And and, and great stuff now, we get both of our dreams. So we've got the two star whisper um, and we've got the warped sage. So ideally, yeah, we could now start thinking about getting rid of the, the God of War. We don't need either of them um, with the level two whisper. And if we can get the level two warp wood, then we'll be in an even better position. But our build's starting to take shape, so pretty happy with where we are. We're still bottom of the log, but our HP is reasonably high. And <clears throat> within a round or two, we should be at the 50 econ that we're looking for. Um, by next round, we'll definitely be there, but soon we'll want to do a bit of a heavy roll um, and just high roll down to uh, to get the, the quality of our units increased. We've got Next a lot of the units that we want for our in game, um, but there's definitely one or two more units that we, we would like to get, potentially, um, depending on how we build it. Um, something in the assassin line, maybe a shining uh, assassin, or even something else on the hunter line, maybe a, um, a siren or a, uh, a tsunami stalker, but obviously at level six, <clears throat> we're not going to be getting those pieces too easily so for now you can see we, we're pushing further so we've decided to take off our yeah we've taken off the dwarf sniper so that we can get six energy and the reason we've done this is because we've now hit 50 econ um, and we really need to start winning games so by having a strong synergy like like feather on the board um, it should help us to start winning games. We do still have our level two quality units on the board, except for obviously the unicorn, which we're not using. Um, but if we're gonna continue to lose, it really needs to be by minimal. But the idea now is we transition from losing to winning. So that needs to happen really soon. Um, <clears throat> and as you can see, I think in this round, we still, it's gonna be very close. Okay, so we, we win our first match. So that takes us now off the losing streak. And this is a, a pivotal moment in the game because we've now effectively reached a point where our economy is not gonna be rising as quickly as it was because we're off the losing streak. So we're now in that middle zone that you don't wanna be in. So it's imperative that we roll down now, we get the quality of our units higher um, and Everything. then ensure that uh, we maintain oh, that changes. and start winning so we can get a winning streak going. So I think at this stage, I would probably also consider leveling up and um, getting to, to level seven will be great now. Um, <clears throat> start getting some, get our hunter synergy back. If we could get the hunter synergy on with the two star units that we have on the front line, the druids. Um, we should be able to start winning more of our matches. And as you can see, I mean, it's still not an easy game. We've got three very strong units on the board here. Um, and and they are running through us a little bit. The Phantom Queen's always tricky, but Shining Archer comes through and takes the Ripper out, so we still win that match. So now we're on a two win streak, and we wanna keep building on that streak. And this is where it becomes important. So we've got a mage team, we've got an assassin team, and then predominantly uh, beasts, uh, warriors and beasts. Um, that are happening. I saw one Glacier team as well. So we sort of know what we're up against and no one's running the exact same comp as us, which is great because it means that one we will be able to one get our pieces, Three hopefully. Um, no and with problem. the level two, um, with the level two door sniper, we didn't put him in now. And the reason is because we didn't, um, we don't want to lose our six feather synergy but he's an imperative piece to have in there so i think that what we'll probably do is decide to level up shortly um <clears throat> so that we can get him on there and get our hunter synergy back on the board misplay here and it's again still a, a big thing that I, I'm str I struggle with is watching the rounds and ensuring that i reposition for my wolf pack um, especially with a hunter build where you've got all your squishy units in the back line it's so important that 
you reposition. I think we're fortunate enough in this one um, that we still managed to pull through um, and and beat the the wolf pack, but it's definitely something that I need to to change. I need to monitor my rounds a lot better. And um, this is the mage comp. I'm not sure what we're checking out. I think maybe they they're pushing into a win streak. Open but your yeah, very, 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 very important. You have got to reposition All when you've got a squishy team on the back line. You've got to reposition for the. Um, you the can't get caught if you. <laughs> okay, so a bit of nice RNG there. <clears throat> we get two more level twos happening, um, and at this stage. I think we need to start leveling up, leveling up quite quickly. By round 21 you want to be on level 8 uh, and we're already on round 16 on level 6. So we've got our first two teams that have leveled up to level 7 and we need to start following suit quite quickly otherwise they will overpower us with the numbers. Especially these strong comps like you can see here where you've got some heavy warriors and the two star golly knight. Um, Luckily our Wind Ranger pulls through there and so we'll still win the round. But as they get stronger we won't be able to hold them back forever and they will get to our hunters and take them out quite easily. So we need to get that door sniper on the board as soon as we can. I'm thinking if we had to level up now it would still be on curve. Um, in which case we could put the, the door sniper in there. I really feel we need to get rid of that level 2 God of War. It's not helping us. Um, also, it'll take us about 40, so they don't have to be dependent on winning this next round just to get our full interest for next round. Okay, so this is going to be a tough one. The mages are always tricky. Um, luckily, we get through the God of War, so the back line's a lot squishier. And we managed to, to, to beat this guy. And he's in first place. He was the guy on the win streak. Um, and we've managed to eat through him quite comfortably. And we're doing well against the, the other teams that we're playing. So pretty happy. And based on that, we now get our four interest because we won the match. Uh, but you don't want to always be dependent on winning those matches. Oh, so this is great news. We've got our Razor Claw which is obviously a key component of any druid comp. We've got the, um, yeah, we definitely got the, the egg for the Razor Claw. So a two star Razor Claw is gonna be an amazing front line. You can see we immediately make the call. Let's get him on the board. Um, and, and, and at this stage, you know, we've been talking a lot about putting hunters on the board, but a level two Razor Claw is just such a solid front line unit. Um, he's gonna be carrying you through a lot. Um, and that'll definitely help us ensure that we keep winning some matches. We should be hopefully pushing on to a win streak quite soon um, if we continue to push through the teams the way we have been. Um, and as you can see now, we're a lot stronger. Uh, once the panda comes, I think it's... Uh, it's we, hit our, we hit our five win streaks, so that's awesome. We're winning on the other board as well. That was uh, against RU. I'm not sure. <clears throat> I didn't look quickly enough there, but but a focus that we'll still want. Okay, so now we finally decide to get rid of that uh, God of War, and that at least puts us at 39, which means that again, if we win the next round, we can get four interest, and that'll be good for us because we are going to need to push to level. I'm going to think we're going to need to push to the level nine, um, eight at the least, but nine would be great. We've got our six feather synergy, but our hunter synergy is still not being utilized very well. Unfortunately, the only unit that we have that's that's not feathered that we could potentially take off is Razor Claw. But because he's such an OP unit, we're definitely not going to be taking taking him off. Um, so we don't have a lot of options to get our dwarf on onto the board. Um, but we really do need the Delta uh, synergy to come in because then our backline is going to be super strong, and we should be able to eat through these through these teams quite nicely. Um, something you also just to take note of, if you don't draw. level 3 your druids, you might be strong I now because we're now at round 20, so you know it's still a reasonable place to I be, place um, and you can push through the teams quite quite comfortably. Once you get to the mid late game, those level 2 druids are not going to do the trick for you, you've got to get them to level 3. Once some of the other teams get level 3 warriors, um, 
anything in the in the mage zone even at level two is super strong anything with air of effect damage is um is going to be super strong against the druids and you want to make sure that you um that you get them to level three as soon as possible so what we need to do now is we need to start leveling leveling up our druids um, and at the same time we need to ensure that we can get our uh, always arrives on time um we can get our dwarf sniper onto the onto the board. I am inevitable. Uh, we're really strong at the moment, but we can quite easily nature, transition nature, into quite a weak team if we don't get those level threes do. quickly. And you can see we get our first one there, which is the Whisper Seer, so that's awesome news. Um, having a look at this, I mean the Shining Archer we definitely want because we're pushing towards level three. We're not looking at a level three or three star Wind Ranger, so we probably won't pick that up, especially considering the bench space that we have at the moment. Um, it's pretty limited. I would even think we might at some stage get rid of the Shadow Crawlers because although it's key for us from a from a feathered perspective, it doesn't look like we're getting Shining Archers, so we're not going to put in the Assassin Synergy at this stage. Um, and it's taking up bench space and it costs a lot of money, so it's a lot of money to, to have on the board. <coughs> or to have on the bench, sorry. Nothing beats a fresh okay, kill. so we lose a match, and this is against Ananim. And I think Ananim's uh, got a pretty strong team at this point in time, so it's definitely one that we need to keep an eye out for. Um, we make a call there, which I think is probably not the best call and that was to get rid of um, the two the two star dwarf sniper i have no idea why i did that um, i think i was too focused on level threeing some of the other units um, and the pieces were coming there it would have made a lot more sense in my opinion to actually have gotten rid of the shadow corner so heavy misplay i'm not entirely sure what i was thinking I should have kept the dwarf sniper on um, a level three, a level two draw sniper is completely OP and would have really held the back line of my team up. So we are still winning most of the matches. Um, we only lost that one against Anonym, but as I mentioned, um, the teams are starting to get stronger now. So they will give the Druids a bit of a harder time. We do have our level three Taboo Witcher, which is awesome. Um, but but losing that draw sniper is is quite a heavy hit. So. That's not dare ideal. To look me in the eye. We do pick up the siren though, so siren's great. Good Time piece to, to have. Um, I am the Eggman. Yeah, but you'll want that at level two. So a siren at level one. It's not the greatest unless you have a mana item. Once you have a mana item, that's cool. Um, it takes a really long time to ultimate, and realistically, the only reason you want a siren is for the ultimate. So you can see now, teams are. I still, you know, there's a little three tabby there, but we're still doing okay against most of the guys. Um, we'll have a look now, hopefully, at the bones, now who's in first place, and to see how he's doing. And he has also got a ranged setup, and he has eaten us on his on his board. So that's something we need to look out for. If you leave no and from an Econ's perspective, next round, if we yeah, next round we can level up on curve and get to, to level eight, which means we can put another piece on the board. I would use the egg now. Yeah, there we go. Use the egg for the razor claw. <clears throat> and the only thing we need is another warport, and we have all of our druids that we are that we are using um, at a three star. So that's great. And then we get to level eight, which is where we could have put our dwarf sniper on. And now it looks like we'll probably use it for a siren, um, which again is a great piece. So nothing wrong with that. But we already had a two-star dwarf sniper, so I'm still a little bit uh, miffed out that we that we lost that opportunity so unnecessarily. My club's good luck. I think what'll make it worse for me is twice. if we don't get a three-star shadow crawler, because now th that was the the unit that I would have sold just so that I could keep the uh, the bench space open that I needed. Instead, I sold the uh, sniper. So if we don't get the level three shadow crawler, it would have been an absolute waste. 
Um, so we'll see how that plays out towards end game. We, we do, however, get our shadows, Shining Assassin and we get our level light. three Warped Sage. So from a Druid perspective, we're completely done with the Druids now. Um, and we could actually get rid of those Unicorns for bench space now because we're not going to be using um, the, the Unicorn for anything. We're not going to use a three star Unicorn at this stage. And <clears throat> our focus now that we've leveled up and put on the Siren is on building up a level two Siren because we've got all our druids to level three. Um, we potentially are two away from a three star shining archer as well, which will also really help the course. Um, and if we do level up again to level nine, it means we can get our shining assassin on the board, which would also be pretty useful. Uh, shining assassin is such a great piece, especially once you get it to level two. And between shining assassin and shadow crawler, it's a winning combo on the back line. Um, <clears throat> it also creates some space for your, your front end units. Um, it's sort of a distraction on the back end. So a lot of the the squishier pieces, um, the, the two assassins can take care of them whilst your, your front line is doing their damage. So this is our Russian friend again. You can see he's got a nice little three star ripper there. He beat us earlier with uh, that assassin build um, in the early game. <clears throat> Yeah, he, he must have a Venomancer, I uh, missed it there, but uh, even though he has that, and he's obviously going for some sort of a Goblin Gamble um, with Assassins, so maybe a Goblin Make Assassin build, we'll see it now. Okay, so he's bottom of the log, yeah, he's got a Goblin Make Assassin build, we've got some Beast Warrior builds, we've still got three Beast Warrior builds, uh, we've got that one Druid build, and we've also got a um, our Feathered build, so, and there's a Glacier Knight I saw there as well. So this stage, not spending too much money. Um, in theory, you would want to put the Siren out front just so it can pick up a bit of damage. And the reason is you want it to pick up damage so it can generate mana quickly. Um, but I've, I've put it in the middle there so it will still get its ult off if it survives for long enough. But as you'll see with the one star Siren, it takes quite a while before the, uh, the mana is um, is generated for, for that ultimate so you can see we're, let's see 15 seconds in let's see when she gets it off okay so she gets it off now but it takes about two seconds to implement so it takes about 20 seconds just just under 20 seconds i'd say for siren to get her ultimate off without any mana items um, at a level one and that's and that's pretty slow i mean obviously she's taking it down so that's really really slow and that's not you want it to be so it's okay, we must pick up the strange egg. Um, I am and I would I'll think at this stage we... Okay, so it looks like we're not trying to push for level nine, which I think could be a misplay. I think we'll probably my push for level nine now that we get this item. Let um, my enemies this level two, or this two star shining, uh, shining assassin. Because it's such a useful piece, uh, we'll want to push to level nine. But we've used Econ now that means it's going to take us longer to get to, to that phase but you can see we're pushing up to 20 by selling our unicorns finally um, which means that we will be able to we will be able to get to the place that we want yeah. now our win streaks I mean we're top of the board now, now just moved into that position candle. and we're starting to run three teams nicely now that we've got all of our three star druids we're in a good place and we've got our hunter synergy back which is what we were aiming for so I'm quite happy with that position. We're in a good place there. Um, and what we need to do now is focus on quality. So we're going to try and push level nine just so that we can get our uh, shining assassin on because that's going to help us, especially if we're up against sort of mage teams or anyone with a squishier backline. There's still another hunter team in play. Um, <clears throat> and then quality. Let's get the siren up to two stars and potentially let's get um, one of our hunters up to three star would be would be great as well. But our team's in a really strong position, so I'm quite happy with where it's at. Let's see how it does against this um, this piece of warrior team. Some of a warrior team. So we do pretty well there. Um, I'd like to check out how we do against second place, uh, the Bones, who we're facing now as well. And 
and they beat us quite heavily. Now, he's the other hunter comp at the moment, so we need to keep an eye out for him because we're running, I wouldn't say the same comp, but we're running um, hunters and he's running hunters, so at the moment if he's beating us and we've got four or three stars on the board, then he must have a pretty a pretty exciting comp going. So now we can pick up and use some of our items to get some of our pieces stronger. And whilst we've got our win streak, we need to get our economy up. So that'll definitely be the next step. We don't want to spend money now because we are um, we're up against a creep round. So we don't want to spend econ on a creep round. But next round we should hit level uh, econ of 50, and potentially we'll need to look at. Number one, getting the level nine going, and then number two, getting our quality up. <clears throat> so we might do some high rolling. It just depends how much how much it's going to cost us to level up, and that'll be de determined by um, at what stage we decide to econ. So if we want to econ on curve, we have to wait two more rounds. Um, otherwise, we'll probably econ next round. I think we'll, we'll see how it goes. But we are winning most of our matches, so it's not a rush. We could probably just wait for um, 8 out of 32, but we don't. So you can see now we go straight into the, the level up, um, and now we have our Shining Assassin on the board. Against a Mage Comp, if you've got a level 3 Taboo Witcher, it could make sense to use the teleport dagger um, and put it on her because Taboo Witcher or on him, I'm not sure. Taboo Witcher jumping to the back line and preventing all the mana regen of those mages is a really, really strong um, concept. So that's something to think about if you guys are do have a level 3 Taboo Witcher and you've got a teleport dagger, she's definitely the piece to, to use on it. And as you can see now, we lose to, to Pakalin. We lose to a Pakalin who's running the um, the mage synergy don't touch my trophy i'm guarding it and i'm hoping that i spot it but i definitely think that the teleport dagger would actually I make sense inevitable. if you know that that person is going to make it into the later game so let's see how Apacolin, um how they fare in their in the other games and if they are going to be a late game comp then my that taboo which is something strong for us to use even against another see. hunter team actually um because your hunters are backline a taboo witcher with the teleport dagger that can, can push to the back line that could also be useful um, to prevent that the hunters from getting their ults off like a wind ranger ult um, or even a door snipe ult is super strong so that could be a useful idea we'll see how it plays out but if Acklin's only got one hp he's got no econ left so he's he, his team is running on fumes um, but it is a strong team so unless he runs into someone Maybe he plays Anonym at some stage, we've got a strong hunter comp, maybe he wins against that, but he doesn't, so a pack is out. So we don't actually have to worry about that that comp, but it, again, it could still be useful for us to put the teleport dagger on um, the taboo for the hunter team that we know is so strong, the Anonym team. And you can see now what I was talking about earlier, even with all of our three-star druids, the, this warrior team has absolutely thrashed us with four pieces. They do have a, a three-star, um, they do have a three-star warrior there, and that's probably one of the reasons why. Um, so it's not enough to just have strong druids. That's not necessarily going to carry you through to a victory. Um, you need to have the team to back them up, and my ranged units are in, in a pretty decent state. Um, I still think the Dwarf Sniper was a misplay and it would have been awesome to have the Dwarf Sniper in here. I would potentially even sacrifice one of the Assassins just for the sake of, of doing that. And you can see an absolute misplay there as well. Putting a Teleport Dagger, um, you know, putting the Teleport Dagger on an Assassin doesn't necessarily make sense unless you know you're not going to use it for the rest of the game because you don't have any pieces that suit that item. Um, and then you're using it for the <clears throat> the other um, um, the other buffs that it gives your, your character, and that's probably what I was thinking at this stage. Um, but other than that, luck. it would be considered it only ever caught fire twice. The taboo witcher is, is is probably what I would what I would normally put put that sort of item on. So here I've given up um, on the wind ranger. Um, I don't have sufficient econ. Um, it is getting towards the end of the game we've only got four players left and the hp counts are pretty low so <clears throat> it's at that stage where i'm not likely to be able to build up sufficient econ it's going to take a few rounds and by that stage we'll be in the end game phase
<clears throat> right, so we're back to Anonym. Okay, this this is Anonym is running a a Glacia Knight uh, comp. Um, and it looks like Dragon Synergy is there as well, but I'm not sure if they've got the shine. I didn't see the Shining Dragon in there. Um, but the two-star Dragonite is always a worry because he's such a tanky unit. You know? But this is where the Siren came so nicely into play, and we managed to turn up a quite bigger candle. Nothing is yeah. true. It would definitely Everything have been uh, an issue later then. Something. If you if you managed to get the shining dragon, I'm not sure if we had the shining dragon. If you had the full knight, uh, the full beast comp in there. Ugh, sorry, the full dragon comp in there. And now we're just buffing up some players with some of the items that we've got. Yeah. And we did get the heaven's gift. Heaven's gift is an amazing item to to be able to build. So if you can construct that, absolutely use it. You'll see it coming into play now. And um, there it kicks in, so those yellow uh, orbs that we have around our players, that's Heaven's Gift. And you it is such a... a candle to my um, I actually think they're nerfing it in the in the current update that's coming now. But there's three players left. Um, <clears throat> I think it's the Bones and Anonym that are still in. And one of them is the Hunter team, and I think one of them is the Glacier and Knight team. So at this stage, with 13 seconds left to play, I know there's not much happening in the shop, I should be scouting. So I need to be having a look at what Anonym and the Bones is running and potentially looking at repositioning all those teams. But let's see how it plays out and I'm sure next round we'll start scouting a bit better. So this is our... Okay, so this is Anonym and the Bones is the one playing Anonym. So, so Anonym is the Glacier Warrior... The Glacier Knight Dragon Comp. He does have a shiny dragon in there, so he's definitely running a. He's definitely running the uh, the synergy for his dragon, for his dragon knight, and it's such a strong synergy. Um, I've definitely got videos coming up soon with um, the dragon knight, and I think there's another one as well. Maybe Dragon Knight Mage, I'm not entirely sure, but you'll see it coming up, so keep an eye out for that. We do lose this match, um, and, and that level 2, once you've got Dragon Synergy, that level 2 Dragon Knight is absolutely amazing. Um, if you can get a level 3 Dragon Knight, you can win most games um, if you've got your Synergy pulled well. So, it's a super, super piece. I'd love to, to try it, and I would still like to post a video with the level 3 Dragon Knight if I can get it right. Um, but uh, yeah, we'll see if that day comes. <clears throat> in the meantime, our Siren is level 2, so we can push her back a bit so that she's safeguarded. We are going to need her, we are definitely going to need her ultimate to be able to win some of these games because as you can see, they've hit us with the same uh, with the same stone effect um, and it's, it's, it's a heavy damage to our team. This is the Hunter team, so this is the Bones. He has been beating us most of the game with his, with his squad. It's been much stronger than our squad. Um, and he wins this one as well. He's now got a level 3 ah, werewolf winning. on top of all of that. Um, oh wow, there's a 3 star. Ah, <laughs> okay, as so as we, were, as we were speaking now, the 3 star... Um, Anonym's 3 star Dragon Knight has absolutely killed the bones. Um, you can see the rest of his team was gone, but that Dragon Knight alone was enough to take out the rest of, um, of the bones' team. So Anonym's got a level 3 Dragon Knight, and that's going to be a problem for us. So now I don't even need to find the Dragon Knight. I've now got a gameplay with the Dragon Knight level 3 in for you guys to see. Uh, it's not my Dragon Knight, but you know what? Uh, we used to get to see it. It's an absolutely beautiful um, item to have, or, or a piece to have. Okay, it looks like he's also got Heaven's Gift on, so we're both running Heaven's Gift. Um, and we're actually doing pretty well against the front line of his team. Um, yeah, we're actually killing his team quite comfortably. I mean, we have five, five pieces left over by the time we're done. Now down to three. But again, look at the, look at the HP of that Dragon Knight. Um, up until now, it was basically full. He, ah, he's keeping it back line, which means it's protected it, unless you've got ranged attack. And it's just got so much armor, so much HP. Honestly, I think it's going to be tough. Uh, yeah, we've got 14 HP and he's, he's killing us. So we might last a few more rounds. 
but unless potentially if we get a level three shadow crawler that might help but other than that as strong as our team comp is i i'm i'm not sure if we can win i'm not sure if we can win this match but let's see how it goes um i think i saw a strange egg in there so that's that will help us get closer to the level three um, but even with that, you see our Siren gets the, her ultimate off, and that helps for a few seconds. Um, and watch the rest of his team. Notice how they're falling, right? We, we're really doing well against the rest of his team. Um, we've still got quite a few three-star units there. Um, the Dragon, uh, the Venom in the bottom left is still alive. But now that he's dead, I mean, we've got multiple units still alive. But all of them are still not likely to take on this i'd be very surprised if we if we still win this that three star dragon knight is absolutely amazing he has been stunned now so maybe we get another stun in and that'll help us and Next we're not so lucky it won't be just some game so we lost again funnily enough on anonym's board we actually won there so maybe there was hope maybe there was a bit of rng there was a slight reposition that i did there so maybe that made a difference um and that means that it's actually potentially a close game uh for us to to have one on his board already says something so that's exciting i'm quite chuffed about that um and i think the the move now is all we can do is try and reposition um glacier clan is always tough when you've got a druid build i find glacier clan um pretty tough to to beat in fact with most builds glacier clan i, I struggle with generally i must actually get some tips from from some of you guys uh, on, on how you set up for Glacier Clan because the problem is you do so well and you have such epic battles but these oaks just eat through my pieces I mean you can see now I've got all the level 3's in the world but these guys are absolutely annihilating him I think especially the frontline units um, and because they're, they're eating through me so heavily I actually lose the match and I think Ananim also lost there but only just slightly uh, I lost this match just because of Glacier Clan. Um, there was RNG involved, but there was a potential win still um, on either of our boards. I think between myself and Anonym, it was going to be a close match. But that level 3 Dragon Knight um, and that Glacier Clan has taken the game away from us. But either way, I hope you enjoyed that gameplay. I thought it was an awesome game and a great uh, strat to play. So if you guys are ever thinking of something to build, uh, try out. There's the level 3 Dragon Knight. Um, try out the the feather hunter it's, a, it's an awesome comp um, but i'll check you guys in the next video i hope you enjoyed it if you did don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll see you around soon enjoy